So, you just saw something on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, something on social media, and was like, I wonder how they do that. I want to start doing that. So this is what you need. This is it. You came to the right place. <laughs> tufting gun there are all different types of tufting guns out there you got some i i don't even know the kinds though you got the ak pile one ak pile two you got the uh ak uh i don't know triple deuce i don't know i have basically it's ak pile one but it is a cut pile gun two differences you got a cut pile and you got a loop pile Two different things. The cut pile basically has scissors right in here. See that? So the cut pile gun has scissors where whenever the yarn gets through, once you push it through the fabric, it's gonna cut it. Hence the name, cut pile. See that, how it closed? See it? I wonder if you can see it again. Let's, re let's rewind it for you. Watch it close. Watch it close slowly. It's going to do it real fast. Don't miss it. See that? Cut the yarn right there. Bam. Now, that was step number one. And I'm sure you already knew that because, you know, you can't tough without a tufting gun. So, and I got mine from Tough the World, which is tuftinggun.com. Preferably, I hate to get stuff off of, like, Amazon, like, expensive things because I don't know the quality. Um, so, I got mine from... An actual tufting website. All right, number two, you need you a frame. Okay, don't mind this right now. We're not talking about this. We're talking about the frame. Now this frame is a three feet long by three feet width height. It's a three by three. You got three by three. You can make them as big as you want, but most of the time, if you buy them online, you're gonna find the three feet by three feet. It's not gonna be those big ones like this one right here. You know, I told you, I made this one. It's a six feet by six feeter. Um, and it's real simple to make. And I'll, I'll show you guys on another video on how I made that. But as of right now, all you need is a frame. Once again, I got mine off of tuftinggun.com. Um, and it came with a kit and everything. So, and it has these little, little things on the side. And it's basically to hold your yarn. And they, you can buy those little swivel things too um, that if you wind your yarn up, you can put it on there. It's like, it's cheap, but I wouldn't recommend. Get you some cheap rolls of toilet paper, make you something, ball it up, and it'll work just the same. Off of a website, instead of building it yourself, you're probably gonna run at least 50 bucks minimum, at least. I think on Tufting on that's 75, but it, you might as well just go to like Home Depot or something Get you some two by fours, um, whichever length you want, because you can do any lengths. Get you some of those, um, what are they called? Forgot what they're called. L brackets. Yeah, get you some L brackets for um, stability and all that. We'll discuss that later, but it's gonna be way cheaper for you to build it yourself than to go and buy one, just cause you wanna be lazy. Let's, let's put that out there. You wanna be lazy. You know, don't be lazy. It's worth it. It's worth it to just go buy your own. I mean, the third thing you're going to need. Is some fabric. Now this, once again, it can't, it comes with a kit. If you want to get the kit, by all means, if you're starting out, get the kit, get the kit. You want to save some money, even though you're still starting out, buy you a frame, go find the cheapest cloth somewhere. You don't have to use this. This is primary tuft and cloth which is more expensive than like burlap or I don't know what else people use. I know a lot of people use burlap though. Um, and it's more forgiving than burlap for sure. I haven't used burlap at all, but I've seen enough videos to know that if you get a hole, you might as well start over. Unless you know how to sew and do all that, no. 
this is where it's at for me. Um, and a lot of people sell these on Etsy too, but I used to sell on Etsy and I don't trust Etsy like that. Not saying some of the sellers are bad, but I don't trust them like that. Um, so once again, and this is like 35 bucks for three yards, which is a lot. Get you some. It go, they have a lot. They have a lot on Tuft and Gun. Now they do run out. So you might want to bulk up. And then they do have some on Amazon. Um, but if you want to go the cheap route, you can do burlap. It works the same. Um, starting out, people want to say start out with burlap just in case you mess up and all that stuff. I didn't. If I messed up, then damn it, I just messed up. I'm not going to start out on something cheap if I'm not going to use that to sell and to make stuff for people. So no. Yarn. 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 And you're gonna need more than you think, so go and get you some yarn, bulk up on some yarn. And just get all the different colors. You never know what you're gonna use it for. I don't know, I have them colors been up there for like three months. And they have all different types of yarn. Impeccable brand, they got the big twist, they got the red heart, they got the one pound. I recommend the uh, pound, of, pound of love yarn. It be hitting. Anybody want two dogs for sale? Cheap, cheap. Craigslist. No, but sheep shears. I love these sheep shears. I mean, I'm gonna invest in some new, um, like those dog clippers that they be using. I love those. I'm, I'm really trying to get some of those. Those are, I just hadn't got into it. But these sheep shears, they're really good. I hadn't dusted at all. Leave me alone. But they're really good. I mean, it gets the bulk off like real good and I, I love using them it's very satisfying and it's worth it to me especially if you do larger rugs because i started out with literally and it wasn't even these these are some good heavy duty um scissors that i got from home depot they're like the all utility uh whisk brand but i started out with like those cricket scissors they're like and then I get all those bruises on my knuckles and stuff because my fingers are too big to fit in the holes. The struggle. Definitely I would recommend getting some of these. Getting some of these and getting some regular trimmers or clippers or um, wall hair clippers just to trim down and do some um, like smaller bulking off. Just like doing your hair. You use the big gods you use those well for you, the women out there. Some of you might not know what I'm talking about. That's sexist. Oh, let's start over. You know the wall clippers, they come with guides. And some of them are bigger than the other ones. So you start with your five or fours or whatever to get the bulk off. And then you go down to your ones, your one and a half, into all, you, you know. It's the same thing. Same thing with the other clippers. With these clippers. These are the ones that I was using at first. And they were really good. I mean, they still work pretty good. I just have to clean them out. And when I clean them out, they'll be quieter. Um, but I still use these. But I was using these instead of the sheep shears to do my entire rugs. And that last rug that I did, y'all go check that out, my five footer, it would have been hell trying to use this to get the bulk off of that. I can only imagine. Now. Another necessity for me, but little gadget that will help and kind of make things easier is this right here. This will save you. At first, I started using, um, first of all, this is to put in a little hole right here. I know y'all haven't seen this. So you can put your yarn through. And once you put your yarn through there, right there, you just pull it through. It's going to come out. It's easy i started out using like a rubber band and i tried to squeeze it in tight through here and oh my gosh and it might be easier for y'all with those little tiny little fingers not for me this is a big hand this right here look at that that was not gonna work so definitely get this i got this off of amazon they have like 10 for five bucks, maybe, maybe 10 for $2. I don't know. They got 20 for, it's cheap. 
get you some. They're called, I don't know, I'll link it in the bio again in the description for you. Now, the reason why I don't think this next one, it is a necessity, but to, I've seen a lot of people, sometimes it's not. You don't have to use any adhesive on the back of your rugs. Um, I didn't know that at first. I thought it was like a necessity, but you don't because technically some people don't even use them as rugs. They hang them up on the wall or they put them on a like platform, like one of those canvases or whatever. Why would you need like that for a canvas if you're going to put it, you know? So I use this Robert's 39.5. Now got it at Home Depot. It's like 40 bucks for, what is this, a gallon? Four gallons. 40 bucks for four gallons that's really good um and it's it's nice but you can get some of this adhesive cart regular carpet adhesive you can use some silicone adhesive um you can use the latex adhesive just honestly it's it's what you prefer and depending on what backing you're going to use um because since i use like a uh, drop cloth and i'll tell you guys about that in a second but since i use that the stickiness and the tackiness once I once it dries it doesn't bother me at all. Sometimes it bothers people. It don't bother me. So I use it. Then you're gonna need you some backing fabric. Now I started out using drop cloth, the medium duty from Home Depot is like 13 bucks. And it I love it. I love it. I know a lot of people talk about it slipping around and everything, but this right here that I got that says backing cloth. Yeah. It's not for me. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not for me. Use some drop cloth. It's durable. It's like multi-purpose. You can put it, use it on the floor. You can put it on the wall. See that? Hang it on the wall with some drop cloth. And it's hanging just fine. And then another thing that will be very useful for you to get, a projector. Now, I didn't start out with a projector at all um, because I, I'm an artist. So, I mean, I tend to free, hand free, freehand. Jesus, I tend to freehand everything anyway. So when I first started uh, tufting, I was just freehanding artworks and everything. Um, but when I was doing simple things, which I guess none of them were really simple. The first one I did was a Patrick one. Um, as you can see the progress, but this just comes in very, it's so handy, so handy. But this was like, what, a hundred bucks from I think I got it from Walmart. It's an RCA monitor. And then I got an adapter that can hook up to my phone if I need to, you know, which is an Apple adapter. So, and it's probably high. Apple be tripping. But I would highly recommend this so you can project the image. Um, and it don't get you one of them fancy ones. It don't, it's not worth it. $100. You got you an HDMI cable, you got you a USB, you got you an SD, and you even got this, what is this, a RCA? I mean, a, a RCA, a VGA um, nodule, whatever, that can hook up to your laptops or computers or whatever, cameras. This was a good, good buy. You can adjust this, this adjusts. I don't have my thing in there, but it was definitely worth it. And then you're definitely gonna need you some, I wouldn't say definitely, but you just some spray adhesive so you can spray your backing cloth on there. But like I said, if you get that um, carpet adhesive that I have, the Robert's 3095, it's tacky. So if you go ahead and put your drop cloth on there, like before it dries within the 48 hours that it says, like completely, you don't really much need this. And I, I use this at first and sometimes I might still use it, but it's not necessary. And then you want you a hot glue gun. I got this from my mom-in-law, cause she, um, I, I think this is hers. I don't know, it was just hanging around. I was like, hey, can I use this? And I was like, sure, so I'm just using it. And this is, you, yeah, you need this. You just gonna get you one. And this winder was a great buy for me.
because some of the yarn like this right here doesn't come wounded. <laughs> so if you go ahead and wind it through this, it's like it's easier for it to feed to your gun and through the fabric and everything. It's less likely for it to keep coming out or falling out of your gun. I definitely highly recommend. At first I said it was trash, but I got the hang of it. I got used to it. I put it on the other side and it's doing justice. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So, um, but hey, that's it. That's honestly it. Um, nothing I can think of that you, uh, you need necessity wise. Well, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, buy you a gun, buy you all the other little stuff. It's going to cost you a good, a good much adding up, but it's, it's totally worth it. The payout is great. And I mean, if you just love doing what you do in the first place, like me, I don't really do it for, oh, buy this, buy this. No, I don't really do it for that. I, I just make rugs for the hell of it because it's fun. It, it keeps my mind off stuff, stimulates the brain cells and all that. So by all means, go get you a tough and gun out here. Go get you a, a, some yarn and some fabric and stuff and you'll be good. And let me know how it turned out because I do. I like for people to tell me, oh, yeah, I watched your videos and I, I got this and this and it was really helpful. Thank you so much. You know, that's all. That's what I'm for. That's what I'm here for. I like to help everybody else out because then nobody helped me out. I hate figuring out stuff on my own. Kind of. I really do. I, I like figuring it out because then I can tell you guys about it and tell you guys what you don't want to get. But anyways... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget about the 1K subscriber um, giveaway. Um, once we get to 1K, we're gonna give away a three by three rug and we're gonna give away a free 20 ounce tumbler. Customize it any way you like. Um, we're gonna put how you enter into the description again. Um, yeah, tune in, enter, it's worth it, 1K. We're almost there. Bye.